Hello everyone and welcome back to another DIY because that's what we do here. We make shit. So I saw these uh, plant hangers and I've seen them like on Pinterest and uh, places where you can buy them and they look really cool but I obviously am I'm like oh I want to make that so we're making it here today. So let's get to it. The first thing I did was put a new plant hanger on my plant so it looked nicer so that I could get started. Um, but first, clean your room or just hide the large pile of laundry that you haven't done yet. And then grab your materials. All you need is string and something to measure it with. I'm using an iPad, um, but you can use whatever you want. I used string that's not too thick. It should be about this thick, maybe thinner if you wanted, and you want your string to be more silky and less yarny, like, because you want it to look like fringe. So I'm wrapping the string around my iPad to get all the strings the same length. I don't really know if that makes sense, but hopefully you can see what I'm talking about in a second. That's assuming that you're even following along. Maybe you're just watching this because you like to watch other people make stuff on YouTube, and I do. I like to do that too. I, I watched a lady paint a whole Bob Ross painting on her wall. Like her entire wall, she made a Bob Ross painting. I'm literally never going to do that, but I, it was very entertaining. Okay, so now if you're actually following along, this is how you tie the knots on the sides of your plant hanger. You just pull it around and loop it through, and that's, that's it. That's all you do. You just have to do it like 20,000 times. And once you have one done, it should look like this. It has this really cute little like texture that's banded around your like plant hanging strap. I love the way that it looks because it looks more intricate than it actually is. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of the sides and it's gonna be super fast for you guys because I edited that whole process out. And we're done. <laughs> Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is, well, second to last, is make a bottom tassel uh, by using my forearm as a measure because hopefully my forearm is longer than an iPad, but we'll see. Uh, so I'm just taking it and tying it like regularly, no special way, and just literally tying it in a knot around the bottom. And then add I added a bunch more to fluff it up. Now, I could have just left it like this, but I am a difficult person, obviously, and I decided that I wanted to dip dye the ends. So I just used some Rit dye and just, you know, went to town. I, I think this project is super interesting because you could, it's really versatile in the way that you could literally do whatever you want. Like, you could dye the whole string, you could use different color string, you could braid your string, you could throw some beads in there, you could, I don't, I mean, you could really you could put anything in there. I mean, I'm not, I'm not your mom, so do whatever you want, you know. And then just give your little buddy a haircut. Uh, it's easier to cut when the string is damp, just like real hair, I guess. Uh, so if you're cutting it, infringing it like I am, if you, if if you want to make it easier on yourself, then dampen it up. But I mean, you don't have to. And that's it. It honestly didn't take me that long. It maybe took me like two hours to do. I think it's because my plant was a little bit smaller, but overall, super easy, super cheap. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you followed along, fuck yeah. If you didn't, also fuck yeah. Remember to subscribe if you want to. I put out DIY videos and like other content that is related to creating stuff, so subscribe and tag me and stuff that you want to see me do. Thanks for watching. Bye!